Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Proteus Weapon Review. <laughs> anyway, the Proteus is a pretty crazy weapon, and it's kind of difficult to actually get. And well, I did get lucky on a supply drop, and that's how I got it. There. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the accuracy is uh, pretty good. The damage is kind of on the not-so-great side for a sniper rifle, but not too bad for a shotgun. Uh, the range is pretty good on the sniper rifle mode. We all know the shotgun is uh, not that great. And then the rate of fire is 58, which is pretty good, actually. I think that's just because it's a pump-action sniper and shotgun. So, yeah, I guess that is makes it pretty fast on the trigger. Then you have mobility, obviously, since it's lightweight, since it's also a shotgun, 72. Um, and I'd say on the shotgun part, I'd compare it to the Banshee. Like, he has a decent rate of fire when it comes to the actual pump, and um, it has just about the same range, aka, like, if you're in the guy's face, you will certainly take him out, and if you're just a little bit towards the rack 9 one shot range, you might get a two shot, but you might be able to pull it off like a brecci. <laughs> Um, anyway, the stuff that I'm running around here with, I think, is the tracking chip quick draw ballistic, uh, ballistic CPU and foregrip. They're pretty good attachments, even though they all up the accuracy. I would actually go for FMJ just to see if it does a little bit better one shots when it comes to sniping, sniping because it only does one shots like about the neck up. Just think of it like that one uh, DLC sniper from Black Ops 3. Just uh, make it so it turns into a shotgun. Boom. There you have it. And I noticed that this thing is actually pretty good at um, a medium distance and not too bad at long range. Only that it's more, uh, well, let's say harder um, to get the neck up because it's a sh smaller target. But never know, aim assist is back on, so I've been using the Trek 50 a lot to try to get this thing. Um, how you actually do get it through the challenges, you have to uh, first have the Trek 50, which is getting uh, 5 kills, uh, at win ten, uh, complete 10 matches, and each of those 10 matches you got to get 5 uh, one-shot kills of the sniper. And then you have to get the M2, M2187 shotguns, lever action, dual wield, good old stuff. And, uh, which means you have to get, the, do the same thing except for, well, no one shot kills. And, uh, you have to do it with akimbo weapons. And I'm not sure if akimbo weapons as across the board, like everything, uh, aka meaning, uh, the specialists and, and uh, all the weapons that come with it. I, th I have a feeling that you, the only way it registers is with the attachment. I'm not sure. I've used the Type 2 and uh, whatnot when I was trying to get the M2187. Not sure if it tracked it or not. So, anyway, after that, then there's the Proteus Challenge, which you gotta get a kill with the Trek 50 and the M2187. Uh, uh, in the same round, like, in the same game, like, you can just uh, have a loadout with the uh, good old overkill on there, and uh, have your M2187 and Trick 50 on the same loadout, and probably uh, go on something like Turista, and uh, kind of stay in the window for a little bit, get a kill, run off of those dual shotguns, and get somebody, and then switch back to your regular uh, VPR, SMG, or whatnot, whatever you use normally. So yeah, it, it's kind of easy on that part. It's just the thing is, instead of 10 matches, it's 20 matches. So yeah, it, it's quite the grind to get this thing. But if you're lucky enough, you can actually go ahead and just get it in the supply drops. Yeah. Uh, other, another weird thing about this gun, they already patched this. Which is kind of pointless for me to say, but it used to have 100% lock-on on hip firing when you have the scope on. Like, 
like in the sniper mode, if you hip fired back then, um, it, it would automatically lock on to anybody in your field of view. But on normal core mode, it didn't really matter since it only made a hit marker. But in hardcore, that's when you <laughs> had all the stuff where people getting uh, crazy cross maps, no scopes, everywhere on the map, not even having to put any skill in it. So then they, well, took it out. They nerfed it. <laughs> and they fixed it. And I say this weapon is now uh, pretty balanced. Uh, the only uh, thing that I'd say is the shotgun may be a little uh, bit underwhelming, but maybe that's because I'm used to the model M2187, and I haven't been playing with the Banshee a lot. And, uh, yeah, other than that, the sniper part is pretty good. You just gotta get a little bit more accurate. Especially after playing with the Trek 50 so long. Well, anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on the channel. I'm out of here.